Once again, the angles are different. Do you like my Stray Kids shelf? With our season's greetings, which that video went up last week. You should go check it out. And the two light sticks I got for Christmas slash my birthday. But we are finally trying out the softbox lighting. Do we like it? Do we hate it? I think I kind of like it. It feels very much like stage lights when I was in theater in high school. I kind of like it, but also what like my camera is propped up on is an ottoman, a heart-shaped ottoman, acrylic drawers that I'll, I'll all of my Copic markers in, my Mondu Deco binder, and then you're balanced on a fake plant. Before, it was on a tote. It was on like a, a shorter tote than the ottoman and on a Percy Jackson box set. So. <laughs> Hello, frenzies. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to this video. Tomorrow, when this video goes up, is my birthday, January 18. Isn't that exciting? Everybody, please wish me <laughs> happy birthday down in the comments. And maybe give me some birthday subscribers, you know? If you want to subscribe, if you want to see what goes on over here on the Sharky Chico channel. If you want to see more of this bullshit, you know, come, come subscribe, come be a frenzy. Anyway, tomorrow's my birthday. And last year, I specifically talked about like the story <laughs> of my birth, about how from day one, I said, fuck men. <laughs> As the stray kids are, this is like slowly getting more full. Anyway, that was what I specifically talked about last year. And I don't remember if in past years I've said this kind of like same thing. But basically, what I wanted to talk about today is the fact that I genuinely in my entire life have never felt so young. This was specifically inspired, like this this thought process was specifically inspired by this Tumblr post. And I did write it down like literally word for word on a piece of paper. But I'm going to leave it here for a couple minutes and... I like basically the gist of it is that um like I love getting older. I love discovering like new things about myself. Like they specifically mention uh like not liking Brussels sprouts when they were younger but really enjoying them now that they're like an older person, an adult. And I hard agree with that. The thing is, I feel like most people are going to relate to this and I've talked about this here and there on this channel. Me personally, I turned 18 and felt like different, like as a teenager, like as an older teenager, I felt different at 18. I didn't really feel any different at 16. I was very excited about turning 16 because, you know, I had my sweet 16 and it was a big deal. It was like the idea of like having a party. I don't know if that's a very like American thing, but like, does anybody remember that MTV show, My Super Sweet 16? Like it was that kind of idea. And I was very excited about my sweet 16. I had a great time. We went to our local bowling alley and we had like, there's like a private room kind of that you like rent out and it has like its own bowling lanes. It has a pool table. We got a DJ, like it was catered. It was very exciting. So I was excited about turning 16, but I didn't like feel any different as I did when I was like 15. And when I turned 18, I actually felt different. Like something about being 18, like felt like, whoa. Did you know 18 was my golden birthday too? Because it's like the, the golden birthday is like, if you turn the age of like the day you were born. Does that make sense? Yeah, January 18, I turned 18. Anyway, and then 21 didn't really matter to me because for most people, maybe specifically in America and specifically like white people, I don't have my sleeves down today and I didn't want to do this because that's not my place to do it. Anyway, turning 21 wasn't a big deal for me because I don't drink, I don't do anything that like you have to get like a legal limit to or whatever or legal age too. So it didn't really matter to me. I did, I think on like my 20th birthday, my 19th or 20th birthday, I had a moment of feeling like very grown up because I went out to eat with my friends and we went to like, we dressed up and we went to a restaurant that we thought was fancy. It was literally the Cheesecake Factory. White people think the Cheesecake Factory is fancy. I'm white people. <laughs> anyway, I felt very grown up like doing that, but it was the activity, not like the age. And then how people say, I don't know if like, if anybody younger is watching this, like maybe you're like still in your teens or your early 20s. But a lot of people say that like, and I think it's like a scientific fact that your brain finishes developing at 25. And I was like dreading 25 because it's the 
thing of like society american culture and everything telling you that like you're just a crypt keeper you're old you're just on the way to death in your 20s and 25 especially because it was halfway to 30 was like super scary but then also the thing about 25 is like legitimately i felt like a completely different person for the first time since i had turned 18 which i feel like sounds so fucking fake but anybody else that's 25 and older please tell me if you feel the same that whole joke on the internet about how like i'm just like a 28 year old teenage girl <laughs> very much the same but i did feel very very different right after 25 and then since 25 i felt pretty much the same since then i don't feel any different at 28 now tomorrow <laughs> than i do than i have since 25 you know what i mean like it's just it seems like weird milestones and maybe they're different for other people like maybe other people at 21 felt significantly different but 25 18 and 25 have been like my big ones and like i said me personally I had a childhood where even though I very much like indulged in like, like you're fucking supposed to, it's not indulging, it's literally being a kid, but I very much was like into my hobbies and like my silly things and like even things that other kids weren't necessarily like, yeah, that's fun and cool. Like other kids definitely bullied me and judged me for it, but I did that at home. And then when I was pretty much around like any other people because I come from a family with two like much older siblings than me that I was basically like raised as an only child and I'm the only girl so that has like a part to do with it a part of like something to do with it as well at home I was very much like a kid but then in other places whether it was teachers or like other parents or just any adult figure hello do you see my cat <laughs> just a lot of adults very much like matured me in their interactions with me which like fair enough I was like one of those old soul kids realizing now in my late 20s almost 30s that I might be undiagnosed autistic <laughs> but um it was that kind of vibe and then I've talked about it plenty of times on the channel gone into more detail than I need to go into but I also had a rough childhood where I did have to mature like drastically to keep myself safe and then as a teenager because of that I was a very sad teenager and I didn't really get to like enjoy being a teenager and it was that specifically but also how like the entire world shits on teenagers I say the entire world it might just be an American thing like an American culture thing because I'm not super sure how teenagers are viewed in other countries I know other countries like family familial fami family structures are very different than like American culture family structures. Anyway, as a teenager, I didn't really get to enjoy being a teenager, being like a silly teen that gets to like make mistakes and do stupid shit because you're 15 and that's what you're supposed to do. So now in my 20s with adult money, I get to be the youngest I have ever been. And it's really really exciting there's a whole thing on the internet too where it just like I've seen it a million times I saw it on tumblr back in 2014 literally 10 years ago which makes me want to die <laughs> that's too much passage of time I don't like that but I've seen it all over the place especially on tumblr where it's literally like being in your 20s just as rediscovering what you were into as a kid and a teenager and like going full throttle and not feeling any shame or embarrassment about it and that is 100% correct I just mentioned it in my B1A4 video, I mentioned it in my Stray Kids One Year Anniversary video that I, like, all of these interests that I, like, dipped my toes in or were, like, very much into, but other people weren't, and whether it was specifically because, like, people were alienating me or because I didn't have, like, a community so I felt alienated, I have gone full throttle into all of them if you can't fucking tell. I also moved this, this was supposed to be a shelf higher but I moved this this is my like calico critter Sylvanian family baby like hot air balloon plaything. I have this which is a fairy finder and you could go out and it like if you carry it around it like will ding if it catches a fairy like it is so exciting I have all of my magic treehouse books I have witch I have sailor moon uh pixie tricks is more behind me and I have like most of the jewel kingdom books just not all of them you know what I mean I just fully I'm like literally wearing 
my Pochico, like, that's not how you say his name, but I'm, like, fully wearing, like, my Sanrio top. Like, I don't want to be an adult if being an adult is the sad beige, like, businesswoman aesthetic videos that are all over <laughs> Instagram and TikTok. I don't want to be an adult if that's what it is. And the thing is, I am an adult. I pay taxes. <laughs> I pay rent. I pay student loans. Like, I have debt. I have a full-time job that I do not enjoy and sucks the life out of me. Like, I'm an adult. The qualifying things of being an adult usually mean, like, paying for things. And I do. But you know what else I pay for? Shit like this. <laughs> Surprise, bitch. It's in the middle of the video this time. You don't get to get away from it just because it's not at the beginning where you can skip over it easy. The infographic that I have put in is the newest, like, the most up-to-date information I have about what's happening specifically in Palestine with the death tolls and the starvation that is happening. There's not, quote-unquote, new information that I have currently. Ideally, by next week, I will have updated numbers and everything like that, and that doesn't mean that things aren't happening. That means things are getting worse. It is, I believe, day 106 when this video is being posted, if that is incorrect, I'm very sorry, but it's the 106th day of the genocide that is happening in Palestine, committed by, or being carried out by Israel, funded by the United States, uh, very aggressively funded by the United States, and Motaz uh, and Bisan, Bisan specifically have made posts about over 100 days of the genocide. And we're not going to be quiet about it. And that's why I threw this in the middle of the video. Because you don't get to skip over the beginning infographic that I put in. You don't. You get to deal with it. And I'm not doing it how people do like ads either. Where they like change their outfit. Because that's you should do shit like that when you're doing ads. But you get to see this instead. Surprise, bitch. Don't fucking stop talking about Palestine ever. Even one day when this is all over quote unquote you don't fucking get to stop talking about it because this was a hundred plus days of genocide that the united states funded money into and nobody including the un did any fucking thing to stop it i have said this to my mom quite a few times like uh, and this is an age specific but like getting my tattoos and uh, at one point my hair was, I've, I've talked about this too as well. See, I keep saying I talked about this. If you were subscribed to my channel, then you could see all these videos because you'd be able to see them as they come out and you wouldn't have to play like catch up or be like, what is she talking about? Because you would have already seen the video without now worrying that you're missing something. <laughs> but um, I've talked about this too. When my hair was like all brown and then the ends of it were like a really nice, like pretty foresty green. I had that hair specifically and then like I was starting to get my tattoos so I don't think I had like these yet but I had a lot of the other ones and I was telling my mom I feel more myself than I've ever felt in my life. I always just felt out of place and weird and just different and again that might be the undiagnosed autism that might be the bullying that might be the child abuse like you don't know like who knows it could be a concoction of all of them but as this woman, as this 28-year-old woman, I feel more Heather than I have ever felt in my entire life. And it's fucking cool. I love, like, feeling like this. I love feeling like... Youth is what you make it, essentially. Because I think in, like, again, America, this society, this culture, youth is very marketed. Just like everything in capitalism is. But youth is very marketed in a very specific way. It's being, like, a child, essentially, that people prey on, whether in the super, super gross ways, in, like, monetary ways, in just, like, bullying children online because you're upset that they're at Sephora. And, like, yeah, should they be at Sephora making a mess of shit? Probably not. Should there be a parent that's stepping up and actually, like, taking care of their kid and, like, disciplining them? Absolutely should we have spaces for children that we don't keep destroying because they don't make money? Yeah. You know, it's a it's a mess. It's a mess. But again, youth is like very much seen as like once you turn 18, you're a fucking hag and you're old and you're a spinster. Just get the fuck out of here. For everybody. It's not like specific to anybody's like it's it's very American, but otherwise it's not specific to anything else. It's like once you turn 18, you got to grow the fuck up. You got to be miserable like the rest of us. I'm having fun.
I'm having a great time. I wish a lot of aspects of adulthood didn't exist, and I wish I was, like, a carefree, fun teenager. I just, sometimes I wish that I was, like, this person with this wardrobe, with this mind's, like, set of, like, my, what's the word I'm looking for? With this, like, mind frame as a 16, 17, 18 year old. Because I feel like I would have set myself up maybe on like better foundations for adulthood if that's where I was. But at the same time, I worked hard to get here at like at my shitty job, like mental health wise, everything. I worked hard to be where I am now. I don't give a fuck if people think I'm childish and weird. I don't care anymore. You're, you care about everything when you're a teenager because you kind of have to. Most of society is so against you when you're a teenager, and it's not fucking fair. I'm going off the rails. I don't even know what I want to talk about. This got, like, more, like, deep and, like, philosophical and, like, more nuanced than what I was originally going for. But, I don't know. I just, I feel young, and I feel happy, and I enjoy, like, what I'm up to and what all my plans are. You're gonna see next video, next week's video, like, what I got up to over, like, the week of my birthday. And I had a lot of fucking fun. I know I did. I'm saying it from the future, but I know I had so much fun. And maybe some of my activities weren't seen as, like, adult. But, like, who fucking cares? I don't need to theme my birthdays as, like, adult appropriate. It doesn't need to be, like, black tie. That's boring for me. If it's not boring for you, congratulations. But for me, that's fucking boring. But it's just, I don't know. I feel good. I feel great. I'm young. Happy birthday to me tomorrow. And... I'm going to be 28, which is weird. It is weird. It's a weird age, I think. And also, I'm my mom's youngest, and she keeps, like, spiraling a little bit, thinking about how her baby is almost 30. But then she spirals more when she thinks about how her oldest is almost 40. So, you know, like, <laughs> give a like if you're if you're worried about my mom. If you're like, ah, oh, shit, mom, that sounds like a lot. <laughs> leave, leave a like. Just thank you guys so, so much for watching. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, if your birthday is in January as well, happy birthday to all the January besties, all the January Capricorns. Let's fucking go. We're the best. <laughs> Callum Hood, if you're ever watching this bestie, your birthday is literally next week. You are exactly a week younger than me. Your birthday is public information. I have Let's Make a Band like over here. I think you can see like the yellow spine. I have Let's Make a Band. Your birthday is public knowledge. This isn't weird we should have a joint birthday party. I'm doing fucking K-pop hearts out here. I gotta stop. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!